All right, well, I got my little uh, mini water bottle to run electronically. And this was uh, something I wanted to see if I could do with that arrangement, that rotor arrangement. And I tried different things, but this is what I ended up with. I ended up with a simple Jewel Thief circuit. And uh, it's extremely simple. It's a one transistor. It's uh, what they call a bifiler coil. There's two windings of wire on that coil. And one winding, as the magnet goes by, induces a current and tells the transistor to turn on. And when that happens, the energy from the battery goes around through the coil and it pushes on that magnet rotor and around and around she goes. And this was the only thing that worked uh, the best on this setup um, because the magnets in the whole thing is not real strong. But the Jewel Thief, um, if you get this set up just right with the potentiometer, instead of being in a self-oscillation, the magnets override the self-oscillation and trigger the circuit. A normal Jewel Thief, you, know, you just have it self-oscillating and it just uh, is on all the time. But uh, when you put a magnet rotor in front of the coil like this, and this is an air cork coil, you can get it to... Uh, drive a pulse motor. This is uh, the circuit that I'm using here and like I say it's a um, a Jewel Thief circuit and it's using a NPN 2N222 2 a transistor, a 100 ohm resistor, a 5k potentiometer, just a AA battery. And the way the Jewel Thieves work is uh, you've got two windings usually on a toroid but you can do all kinds of things with this. It doesn't have to be on a toroid, and this is just an air core coil. And the tail end of one coil joins up with the front end of the other coil to the plus rail, and then you have the trigger coil, which is usually lighter gauge wire, and then the drive coil, which is a thicker gauge wire. And I'm using 24 gauge for the drive coil and 30 gauge for the trigger coil. And I don't remember how many windings, I just filled up that bobbin. And then on this um, setup, I'm taking the LED right to the negative rail like on a Jewel Thief. You could come off of this and go over to the plus rail like I showed in my last video. Or you could come off of this, put a diode here, go to a capacitor or a battery and come back around here like a Bedini circuit. And that's how that could be done. And this is the uh, 14th of... October 2016 and like I said I'm just calling this the mini water bottle electronic pulse motor and um, you can probably hear that I've got a radio here so you can hear it better and that's a combination of um, the frequency that the Jewel Thief is running at and then the triggering, triggering effect of the magnet going by the coil. Now if I adjust the potentiometer, I can make this go in or out of um, the uh, triggering. Let me go the other way and make it go to self-oscillation. Now that's just running like a jewel thief. Now the rotor is going to start to slow down because it's out of sync, so I'm going to crank this back down in there until it starts to fire. Okay, now the magnets are telling that trigger coil to fire. They're inducing a current in the trigger coil and making the circuit run. Now if I crank this a little bit more, I can get this to speed up. Maybe not. <laughs> Once this revs up, uh, you can adjust the potentiometer to control your speed. I'll let this rev up a second here. Once it gets up to speed, then you do have some speed control with your potentiometer. And, and this is all running out of a AA battery. You notice the LED is blinking just like a jewel thief. 
and uh, it's not blinking off the battery, it's blinking off of the collapsing field of the drive coil. Here again, like a jewel thief. Let's see if I can rev this up a little bit here. That's about as good as I'm going to get it for right now. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with um, people that are interested in these little motors. It's, you can do a lot with a um, rather simple setup if you just keep playing around with it. And that's my uh, mini water bottle electronic pulse motor. Thanks for watching.